Back then, to this performance, <laughs> yeah. and then I gotta put out that that wonderful transition from Juan, my morning jacket. Great? We might I've be never heard of jacket. the group, but I oh, think they're a great uh, group. I haven't either. They're so really good. Up on it. They're kind of mellow. Uh, they've been around for a little while. Okay. It was maybe like early 2000s. I'm, I'm sure even before that. But uh, you know, they're they're good. They're worth a listen. We may have heard okay. of them. Okay, and maybe they'll be back when the weather gets better. <laughs> How about that? But for now, we will grab that morning jacket maybe a ZZ top because it's going to be a little cold. Oh, <laughs> right. I tried because it's going to be cold as we head into the morning hours. Or we could just say chilly. Maybe cold is a little too extreme, but we are looking at that fog. It's increasing as the sea breeze stays with us at least in the middle of the week. We will see some clearing by the afternoon near normal temperatures by the time we head toward the end of the week and the weekend. But that May gray does continue how much? The majority of the cooler temperatures because of the low and then eventually high pressure will win over by the end of the week and the weekend and we will start to see some seriously warmer numbers as we head into next week. Let's take a closer look at what's happening right here on Futurecast. We're fast forwarding the clock and we're stopping in the morning hours, the afternoon hours, and you're going to see the same pattern. We're in the morning hours, 5 a.m. Wednesday, for example. Lots of cloud cover. Pretty much everybody expecting that May gray. It clears out by the afternoon and even early evening, and then it makes a comeback in the overnight hours again through Thursday and then again by Friday. We are expecting to see clearer skies by the weekend and warmer conditions, but until then, 50s tonight predominantly, and tomorrow we're expecting 60s, 70s, and 80s. So the microclimates are kicking in. 65 Malibu, 71 Pasadena, and 81 in San Bernardino. Meanwhile, the desert, Palm Springs, is at 99 degrees as we head to tomorrow. As we check out the next seven days for the basin and Orange County, we're in the 70s through Saturday, even Sunday, slightly cooler by Monday. So check out one more seven-day forecast right here for the valleys.